Hello, you are watching what is a quick overview of Top Down Shooter Toolkit, otherwise known as TDSTK. So, TDSTK is a toolkit designed to quickly build or prototype all sorts of top down shooter mechanics, um, the weapons, abilities, and so on and so forth. Let me just quickly show what you can do by running through some of the demo scene which um, you can play. Uh, in, a, in a web demo, uh, which I highly recommended because some of them are rather quite fun. Right, so as you can see, we have different weapons some basic machine gun, shotgun, cannon, laser, missile, um, or even some very cool stuff. And then there's the ability. Oh, there's a shield. There's a penetrating shot. Yeah. So, and then of course you can construct all sort of interesting scenario like an arena, a time arena, and that. And then you can cast different, different ability. And then there's destructible environment. <laughs> right. Very cool. So uh, now you see what I can do. So you might ask, how, what are the workflow? Now let me show you that. Um, it's actually everything is very streamlined. So you can just create a new scene, a template, so to speak, uh, by just one click. So there you go, a, a new one, and it works. A very simple one, a very basic one. Right. So let me just quickly run you through. So. This is it then, uh, a very simple one. You have your unit, your player here, and two template AI unit, and then there's some spawner, which I'm going to go through. So as you can see here, uh, all this is under here. So you have your player, you have your hostile unit, and then you have your uh, terrain. You can swap this out, by the way. Um, this is just a placeholder. And then we have all uh, the UI, uh, audio manager which plays the uh, various sound effects and there's the camera control where you can configure all, all the stats and of course the game control which controls um, the general game rules uh, like can can you use ability can you use uh, is there auto reload and so on is there a timer and then there's the objective where you can uh, like have if you've seen the demo if you play through the demo you know you can set different objective like um, you, you need to clear the level you need to hit a certain score or you need to clear all the spawner or you can need to clear all the hostile before you can clear the level and then that's the spawner uh, spawn you unit spawner which spawn the unit as you can see uh, right it will spawn in this pink square and then there's the collectible spawner, which is the term for the bonus item uh, in, in this toolkit. So it will spawn in this area. So when I play, you can see, right? So the bonus is here in this square, right? So, and then we have the trigger. So trigger is the in interesting bit. So it's essentially a, a switch for you to turn on various things like, these two won't be turned on, um, until this is trigger. So if I just move this trigger out of the range, let's just disable this for the time being. Nothing will happen until I run into the trigger. Then it starts spawn. There we go. So you can probably tell how all this all this scene, all this demo scene is constructed. So basically uh, yeah, you have a series of trigger where you can trigger. You need to uh, the spawner to start spawning. So this is another interesting thing you can do, which is um, you have your typical unit, and then you put a spawner on it where it will start act like a normal unit, but it spawn additional unit, but it stops as soon as you destroy uh, the, the unit. So yeah, back to the trigger. So yeah, there's trigger to trigger you need to start spawning, there's trigger to start to activate unit and then there's trigger to um, trigger a checkpoint so you, you don't need to start all over from here in fact this, this trigger does just that I believe if you play through the demo you would have known 
Um, yeah, so um, do I miss anything? Yeah, drop manager. So this is control. This is basically. Uh, oh, sorry. Let me just get back to the the template scene. It's easier. So now back to the drop manager. Yeah, drop manager is basically uh, the 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 procedural spawner for for the collectible which aren't subject to any trigger or anything. We are. Uh, Let's say if you kill a unit and it needs to drop something, then all this is governed by drop manager. So you have an overview of this. Um, this is pretty much it. So now let's get to the fun bit, which is all the editor. So how you put every all, how you um, configure the weapons and configure the what the unit does and everything, and it's all here. Let's start by effects all right we'll go through them. so you can create a series of effect let's say slow stun right all, all this interesting stuff um, and then you have ability all right so each ability you can set um, what it's for what it costs uh, how much damage it do, it does if it's to uh, if it's going to hit some hostile or are you going to repair yourself and if there's any side effects um, right for instance this one restore hit point it doesn't do anything but it does cast restore hit point to the target which is well restore hit point and then we get to the weapon so the weapon well uh, yeah as you can see you can configure pretty much everything the range the cooldown clip size the recoil damage and then you can assign uh, even effects attack effects let's say if you let's say this one right for cannon in this case cannon would stun the target if it hits anything and it has an AOE effect as well so everything in the aerial effect will have been stunned and then there's an alternate attack uh, in the form of ability so uh, sorry this is the ability I have here so I can just select one and then assign to it, right? The, the same way you assign uh, the effects to the ability or attacks effects to the weapon. So basically, you pre-configure pre all this, and then you just choose what you want to use. So it's that simple, right? Um, and then we have uh, more, which is uh, how to configure the unit. So this is how you config uh, the player you need so we have certain prefabs here um, let's see um, yeah you can set the hit point what weapon to use if it's to enable all or if not and which one to choose from and is there any are you going to enable ability what abilities are you going to enable how are you going to move the move speed and so on so forth the same uh, you can do the same with AI unit um, which carry almost the same uh, same stat so well, drones tanks so if I show attack yeah so this is the attack stats yeah so also of good stuff you can do right so now yeah, I have. Yeah, there's another thing that is the spawner. Of course, um, there's many way to spawn. Come on, show up. Okay, it's a, a bit buggy. I'll fix that. Um, yeah. Uh, right. To spawn a unit, you have free form mode, or you can tell that tell the spawner to, uh, to spawn in wave. Free form mode is a mode where it just spawn randomly based on the selection of unit you have enabled and you can set uh, how long before its subsequent spawn how many units are there at any given time on the map the, the spawner can spawn and where to spawn and so on you can even set an override hit point where you can adjust the hit point as, as it spawn it will increase the hit point of the unit it spawn then there's the wave base which uh, it spawn in wave so in this case wave 1 we have one tank one and one tank two and we can easily increase wave two wave three uh, let's say five drone 
and then five tank three and if you want to add some more right two units uh, two type of unit in a wave why not and then each sub wave um, each wave you can assign unique spawn area and so on so forth you can even do an endless mode so it still spawn in wave but it will procedurally generate the wave based on the unit yeah, you, you have enabled right so that's the editor so you might ask uh, how all right all this ability to very easy uh, it, it, they can easily be configured but how do you create them um, for abstract item like ability and effect it's very simple you simply click this and then off you go right and then the even the prefabs one like all this um, unit or all this player prefab um, it's very simple as well. I'm not going to go into too much detail for that. Uh, it's another topic in itself, but I'm just going to show you quickly how you can do that. So let's see. The, this this is the player prefab we have now. We delete that. I'm going to create a new one. Right. So for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to use a simple cylinder. Okay. Is it in the middle? Right. Cool. Now. All we need to do is add unit player and then consider we have all the weapons and all the ability set up it should just work right out of the box see there we go boom yeah oop the physics is not set properly of course uh, that's how that's where you need to go into further detail and you can do the same with um, AI unit so basically if you want an AI unit you just add unit AI to it so yeah that's pretty much the same the same principle can be applied to the collectibles the bonus item the shoot object um, the spawner pretty much everything works in that in that way so yeah let's see if I miss anything mm, yeah I think that's pretty much cover it so there you have it uh, a quick overview of the toolkit hopefully uh, it helps um, if you have any question please Feel free to email me or leave a post on uh, on the forum. And yeah, thanks for watching.